There's a German shepherd that skydives into the African jungle to protect wildlife from illegal poachers. There's also a German shepherd that became the world's first canine archaeologist. But have you ever heard of the German shepherd that saved Warner Brothers Studios from the brink of bankruptcy? The GSD may just be the most incredible, the most interesting, and the most entertaining dog breed ever. Here are 10 facts that prove they are. Number 10. The German Shepherd has one of the strongest bites. When talking about the strongest dog bites, the pit bull probably comes to mind. And while German Shepherds are by no means the biggest dogs out there, they actually have one of the strongest bite forces in the canine kingdom. Bite force is measured in PSI, which stands for pounds per square inch. German Shepherds have a bite force of 238 to 291 PSI. This means they can effectively break and crush bones, particularly smaller ones like chicken bones. And for reference, the infamous American Pit Bull Terrier has a bite force of 240 to 330 PSI, which is right there with the GSD. Bulldogs, Rottweilers, Mastiffs, and the Cane Corso also have a stronger bite. But the strongest bite? That goes to the Turkish Kengal Shepherd, with an incredible bite force of 743 PSI. Number 9. The German Shepherd went by a different name for 50 years before reverting back to its original name. German Shepherds have been around for a long time, since 1899, to be specific. However, they weren't always called the German Shepherd, at least in the West. This breed originally made its way to Western countries such as the United States after World War I. They were praised for their incredible athletic abilities, and many American soldiers brought one back after the war. But about a decade after the war, leading up to the Second World War, the sentiment around Germany had reached its lowest point in history. Breeders were afraid that the anti-German propaganda would hurt the breed's popularity, so they changed the breed's name to the Alsatian Shepherd. Alsatian was named after the French-German border town of Alsace, and despite being a terrible name, it stuck around for nearly five decades. However, in 1977, enthusiasts and breeders relentlessly pressured British kennel clubs to allow people to register the breed as the German Shepherd once again. Needless to say, it worked. Number 8. A German Shepherd Saved Warner Brothers Studios from Bankruptcy in the 1920s Dogs are no strangers to Hollywood films. I mean, who doesn't enjoy watching our furry companions on the big screen? However, in the 1920s, there was one German Shepherd that became an international Hollywood sensation. A male German Shepherd named Ren Tin Tin was born in France and originally worked as a war dog. Having been rescued by an American soldier after the First World War, Ren Tin Tin moved to California, where he would go on to star in some of Hollywood's greatest hits. A talented canine would make an appearance in a total of 27 Hollywood films, gaining worldwide fame in a short amount of time. He was so successful that he actually won Best Actor at the 1929 Academy Awards. However, the Academy of Motion Pictures ultimately ended up replacing him with a human actor because they wanted the award show to appear, and I quote, more serious. But the massive success and profitability of Rin Tin Tin was far more important for pop culture than we could have imagined. Back when Warner Brothers was struggling, it was actually what saved the movie studio from the brink of bankruptcy. It's crazy to think that without Ren Tin Tin's contributions to Hollywood, we might not have classic WB films such as The Matrix, Ocean's Eleven, or The Departed. Today, Ren Tin Tin remains as one of only three dogs to ever have its paw prints on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Hey, before we continue, I want to tell you about something amazing I'm doing. I'm trying to feed 100,000 meals to rescue dogs, and you can help too. Just hit the subscribe button and I'll donate one meal per subscriber, and I'll even post the proof when we hit our goals. Thanks for helping out. Number 7. Sigmund Freud's German Shepherd Once Called a Cab If you didn't know, Sigmund Freud was the legendary neurologist who's often called the father of psychoanalysis. You've probably heard of him in some psychology books from high school. But as the story goes, Freud owned a German Shepherd named Wolf, who was a loyal companion for his daughter. On an evening stroll, Anna and Wolf came across a group of soldiers. The men, for some reason, started firing blank rounds into the air. Of course, this startled Wolf, and rightfully so. He did what all smart dogs do in such a situation. Wolf ran for his dear life. But as soon as a customer opened the door of a taxi cab, Wolf leapt right in. Confused at the situation, the cabbie noticed the address on Wolf's collar tag and decided to take him home. Of course, Freud left a big tip for the driver. But was this story true? Given how smart they are, German Shepherd donors know this could be true, so we'll choose to believe the legend. Number 6. German Shepherds are the third most intelligent dogs. If you already own a German Shepherd, 
You probably already realize just how smart they actually are. But really, just how intelligent are these dogs? According to renowned canine psychologist Stanley Corin, the German Shepherd is the third smartest dog breed in the world. German Shepherds, on average, can learn a new command with less than five repetitions. They're also able to obey a new command on the first attempt with a 95% better or success rate. Not only are they super smart, but they're also highly obedient. I mean, there's a reason why they're the breed of choice for police forces all over the world. Number 5. German Shepherds have a sense of smell that's 10,000 to 100,000 times more sensitive than a human's. German Shepherds aren't known for having a good sense of smell, but they actually do. The number of scent receptors in a dog's nose is one of the key measurements of how sharp a dog's nose is. On average, German Shepherds have 220 million scent receptors in their noses. We only have 5 million scent receptors, so it's a little unfair to compare them to humans. But what's truly amazing is that the German Shepherd matches the Beagle in scent receptors. Beagles are known for their incredible noses and they're frequently used as narcotic dogs or in search and rescue squads. But what makes a German Shepherd's sense of smell far more superior is their ability to detect and differentiate various odors, even when they're extremely diluted. In a forest with hundreds of unique scents, a German Shepherd can track down a human scent trail that's several days old. Incredible! Number 4. A homeless German Shepherd who was adopted by a zoo saved her keeper's life from a jaguar. Heroic deeds of German Shepherds are not a rare occurrence. After all, these dogs are widely known for their bravery and loyalty. But have you ever heard the amazing story of Gabby, the German Shepherd? Gabby was a stray dog that stumbled into the Belgrade Zoo in the 1980s, where she eventually made her home. Being around eight years, Gabby wasn't young, but she was courageous and loyal to the zookeeper that took care of her. In fact, she acted as the zoo's informal security guard for many years. However, one night, the zookeeper failed to realize that a jaguar had escaped its enclosure. It didn't take long for Gabby to immediately sense danger. Without even the slightest hesitation, she jumped on the large cat as the animal was creeping up on the zookeeper. She ended up fighting the jaguar throughout the zoo for several minutes, giving the keeper just enough time to call the police. In the end, the jaguar was caught and the zookeeper was alive. Fortunately, Gabby survived and remained at the zoo until she finally passed away. Today, the zoo has a statue honoring the heroic German Shepherd. Number 3. A 12-year-old German Shepherd goes to Mass to mourn every week. Have you ever seen those videos of dogs grieving and even crying at their owner's graves? Dogs are loyal animals, but none may be more loyal than the German Shepherd. And the story of Sissio, a 12-year-old German Shepherd, proves this. Sissio was no stranger to the Church of Santa Maria Assunta in San Donasi. When his owner was still alive, he used to attend church for Mass with her every day. But even months after his owner's passing, Sissio still visits the church for Mass to mourn his owner. Sissio's story went viral in 2014 after several pictures of the heartbroken dog were shared over social media. According to the church's father, Sissio is always there, and he's always well-behaved. He doesn't make any sound and just sits in silence with a sad face. As heartbreaking as this is, it just shows how loyal and caring these dogs can be. Number 2. There's a skydiving German Shepherd that saves animals from poachers. You may have heard of Brutus, the skydiving Dachshund that set all sorts of records for highest jump by a dog. But there's a German Shepherd named Arrow that parachutes from the sky to catch illegal poachers in South Africa. And in 2016, the Guinness World Records recognized Arrow as the first skydiving anti-poaching dog in the world. If you're having concerns for the dog's safety, don't worry. As a puppy, Arrow was specially selected for his calm temperament and exclusively trained for the job. He first started his training by descending from a helicopter by rope before eventually moving on to a skydive. Arrow has become a powerful frontline weapon in protecting the endangered wildlife of Africa. And because of the huge success with Arrow, other dogs are expected to complete training to take on this important role too. Number 1. The world's first archaeology dog is a German Shepherd. In 2016, a German Shepherd named Favel made headlines after sniffing out 400-year-old human bones at an archaeology site in Sweden. And as of now, Favel is still the only scientifically tested archaeology dog in the world. Fabel is so good at his job that he can distinguish human bones from animal bones with a 94.2% certainty. He's also incredibly good at locating old graves before they're even found. According to Fabel's handler, it's extremely difficult to locate skeletons underground. Despite modern technology, 
There are still no efficient technical methods to find them, but by harnessing the German Shepherd's amazing sense of smell, we can save archaeologists hundreds of hours in tedious work. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button for more dog fact videos like these. See you next time!